hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is Nelly I am a new youtuber I've been creating content for five months now I have a whole 164 subscribers on my channel I am grateful I'm growing every day I'm extremely excited for this journey it's something that I've always wanted to do and been putting it off because of some insecurities. I'm not sure what can I create, what can I talk about, who's going to be interested. One day, I just recorded something, edited it a little bit, and put it out there. As a new YouTuber, I have my struggles. Because they have millions of information out there and sometimes you don't even know who to follow, what to listen to, what's going to work for you, what's not going to work for you. Uh, I thought I'd share with you guys how I've been doing things on my channel because at this point, all I'm doing is paying attention to my channel and, you know, studying my channel, trying to understand it, trying to make my own mistakes and learn from it and grow. Let's start with a few things that you would need as a new YouTuber or trying to have a YouTube channel, in my opinion. I can comfortably say everybody have a phone and that phone do have a camera. Use it. Just make sure you wipe the camera and make sure the lens or uh, the camera lens is clean to get good quality videos. And I feel like the second thing that you're going to need will be like a tripod. Because you definitely need something to put your phone on. I got one from Amazon for $19. I'm going to link it below for you. The third thing is good lighting. So if you don't have a ring light, which you don't have to rush to buy one, you can use natural light. But if you really want to get one, I got one from Amazon for $99. But now it's on sale for $71.18. I'm going to link that below for you. A good audio. Your phone have a built-in audio so you can use it. You don't have to rush to get you a mic. But Emerson do have one that I have. Not this one that I'm using, but another one that I have for $26.69. That one I use it as well. Mind you, I went and got the ZVE10 camera. This is a beautiful camera. But when I tell you I haven't used this camera... It's so intimidating and it just, it stressed me out. I'm just, you know, now. So I decided to just continue using my phone. And also when I use my phone, it makes it easier to do my editing and just transfer my video to my channel. I feel like using my phone is just easier that way. So I'm, I'm just going to continue using my phone for now. Let's talk about content creating. So, your channel, do you want it to be, do you want it to be about a specific thing or do you want to have it open where you can, you know, record your everyday life if you feel like it. For me, I did not want to have a niche. I decided on a lifestyle channel where I'm able to create anything I want. However... I am still focused and intentional about what I post based on my audience. I'm focused and consistent on what my audience want, not just what makes what I want because this is about my audience. And then here and there, I can sometimes post things that I want to share here. I love that I have that option to do so when I want to. So the Lifestyle Channel is, is best for me. You just have to decide what's best for you, what you want to do. If you have a niche, a niche is also great, you know, because it keep you on one thing. It keep you, you know, from, you know, going all over the place and just creating this particular thing that you just want to give your audience. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. The next thing I want to cover is the question of how often you should post on your channel. Now, that's, you guys... <laughs> That is a big one for me. That was my, that's one of my struggles right there. I didn't understand how I, you know, when to post, how many times to post, what time to post. Some people say post once a week, post twice a week. 
be consistent. Everything about when it comes to posting on your channel is the most confusing for me. So since I'm not too sure or wasn't sure on how many times when I needed to post, for the past four months, I have been posting every day, seven days a week, the same type of video for the past four months. Some days get a lot of views and other days, not so much. I decided to take a look at my videos that have more views to see where my audience were watching from and the time difference. Pay attention to your audience and the time difference. It is very, very, very <laughs> important in my opinion. I also took a look at days that got more views than others and wanted to know why. I noticed that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday did not get more views. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I got more views and more subscribers on those days. And also, the time difference, like I said, I had to pay attention to that. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I needed to post my video at 9, 10, or 11 p.m. My time. Because most of my audience live out of the U.S., there's six hours time difference between us. So I have to balance it out. For example, I tested it out this going Monday. I posted one video at 10 a.m. I got 177 views so far. On Thursday, I posted one video at 9.45 at 9 a.m. By 9.20 p.m., that short video had 1.1K views. Now, I'm understanding. So, right now, my strategy will be I'm not going to post on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to post on Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. That's my strategy for now. To see, you know, I know that works because sometimes I get by the time I post a video... Friday by 9, 9.30, I get instant views, maybe 4.4K views, you know, 8K views, 23K views. I got one video that I have like 23K views because I post it on a Saturday night. So the only thing I would say it is your channel. If you don't post, you won't learn. If you don't, if it just post. Just record your video, edit it, and post it. Let it sit there. Concentrate on the next. You will always have something to create. Because you're waking up every day. You're moving around. There are thousands of things in your house. You go into the store. You will have something to create. Just start. Start posting. I was the same way. Just, you know, I will, I will because something. I would say, no, I'm not going to post it because it is not to this perfection, all the people video I'm watching is this great. It started from somewhere. If you don't start, you won't know. I've been there. I know how it feels. Just post a video. This YouTube thing is not a one size fit all. You have to post to know what works for you and your audience. Post as much as you want on your channel. There's no regulation on YouTube that say you must post a hundred video a year. You can post unlimited video as you want until you understand what your audience really want and, you know, the time difference and all that stuff. But I'll tell you the time difference makes, you know, pay attention to time and pay attention to when you're posting your video. And, and if you post a video that have more views, go back to that video and find out why it have more views and then recreate something like that and, and, be, and, and see what happens. So I have two type of videos. One, my audience really love, and the other one, they grow onto it. So, yeah, I think I've covered everything so far that I wanted to cover. 
I wanted to talk, you know, more about editing and how important it is. Your thumbnail is important as well. But that will be my next video in the next 30 days when I give you an update on how I'm doing on my channel. But yes, I'm excited that I finally started and I'm learning. I look forward to this every day. This has made me change my mindset. You know, it's just something about it when you're doing something that you enjoy doing. It just gives you another another level of satisfaction. So just do it. Just do it. If you have any question or if you learned something from the video, please comment below and let me know if you want me to do more of it or if you have more questions that um, you want to ask me. And if I know, definitely trust me, I will share it with you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to my subscribers. And I see you in my next video. Thank you.